Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today, <laughs> we are looking at Representative Derek Van Orden. Derek Van Orden. He is the representative for the 3rd District of Wisconsin, which is weirdly gerrymandered. He is a Republican, and before he took office, he was preceded in office by Ron Kind. Now, let's go ahead and look at who he is as an individual. He was born in Minnesota on September the 15th, 1969, earned a Bachelor of Science from Excelsior University in Albany, New York, was a member of the U.S. Navy from 1988 to 2014, has been an actor, a business owner, unsuccessful candidate for election to the 117th Congress in 2020 before being elected as a Republican to the 118th Congress. So he is in term one. Now let's go ahead and look at the committees he is on. He is on the Committee on Agriculture, of which he is on the Subcommittee on Livestock, Dairy, and Poultry, and the Subcommittee on Nutrition, Foreign Agriculture, and Horticulture. He's on the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure, of which he's on the Subcommittee on Economic Development, Public Buildings, and Emergency Management. I couldn't get the words to form. The Subcommittee on Highways and Transit and the Subcommittee on Water Resources and Environment. And he's on the Committee on Veterans Affairs, of which he's on the Subcommittee on Economic Opportunity and the Subcommittee on Health. Now, let's go ahead and look at his top five industry donors over his career. At the top, we have hospitals and nursing homes who have donated $2,441,008. Next is Securities and Investment who have donated $277,608. Next is Leadership Packs who have donated $250,000 thousand eight hundred dollars. Next is real estate who have donated two hundred and thirty six thousand eight hundred and eighty one dollars and fifth is candidate committees who have donated one hundred and twenty nine thousand five hundred and thirty dollars. Now let's go ahead and look at his top five individual donors and contributors over his career. At the top, number one, we have the Van Orden Victory Fund. Uh, yeah, it's a victory fund specifically designed to try to help get him into office. Um, yeah. I don't know what else really to tell you. Altogether, it has donated $47,883. And once again, that's the Van Orden Victory Fund. Next, at number two, we have Marquis Management Services. And they are headquartered in Salem, New Hampshire. And say they are a construction industry by its very nature and is a big user of natural resources. Um, it was founded in 2008 and includes 
uh, providing management services on a contract or fee basis. I don't even know if that's the same two companies or not, but they're both marquee management. Altogether, it has donated $30,700, and once again, that's marquee management services. Next, at number three, we have our old lunacide, genocide, crazy group, APAC, the American Israel Public Affairs Committee. They are a pro-Israel lobbying group that advocates its policies to the legislative and executive branches of the U.S. One of several pro-Israel lobbying organizations in the country, it has been called one of the most powerful lobbying groups. It was founded in 1954 by Isaiah L. Kennan, a lobbyist for the Israeli government, partly to counter negative international reactions to Israel's Kibia massacre of Palestinian villagers that year. APAC only became a powerful organization during its peak influence in the 1980s. In, 20, in 2002, APAC expressed intent to lobby Congress to authorize use of force in Iraq. And in 2003, the Iraq War was defended at APAC events. Yeah. Altogether, they have donated $23,400. And once again, that's APAC. Next, at number four, we have the Edward C. Levy Company. And they seem to be based out of Dearborn, Michigan. Uh... And they provide building products, offering ready-mix concrete, bituminous asphalt manufacturing, and paving, as well as renders steel mill services. It serves customers worldwide. Altogether, it has donated $14,964, and once again, that's the Edward C. Levy Company. Finally, in fifth, we have Energy Transfer Partners, an American company engaged in pipeline transportation, storage, and terminal terminaling for natural gas, crude oil, NGLs, refined products, and liquid natural gas. It is organized under Delaware state laws and headquartered in Dallas, Texas. It was founded in 1996 by Ray Davis and Kelsey Warren, who remain executive chairman. As of 2023, the company owns and operates more than 125 thousand miles of pipelines throughout the U.S., making it the largest one of the largest midstream companies in the country. It is also one of the largest exporters of NGLs in the world. Altogether, it has donated $13,798. And once again, that's Energy Transfer Partners. Now, let's look at his donors at a glance. Industry-wise... Hospitals, nursing homes, uh, securities and investment, ooh, leadership packs, boo, suck, real estate, uh, candidate committees, ooh, yeah, none of this is good stuff, dude. Individually, Van Orden Victory Fund. Ooh, Marquee Management Services, uh, APAC, boo, suck, Edward C. Levy Company, uh, Energy Transfer Partners, ooh, yeah, none of your big funders here are good, dude.
yeah, you're going to have to do better if you want to be liked. Not just liked, but respected. Anyway, this has been a look at Representative Derek Van Orden, who is the representative for the 3rd District of Wisconsin. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I will be putting my links and sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.